This is the technology news for the 1st of April to the 6th of April 2014. Pay via mobile number starting soon. Consumers will be able to use mobile phone numbers to make bank payments from 29th of April. The changes mean that account holders will be able to pay friends, family or traders without having to ask for their bank details. Instead, they will only need to ask for their mobile number according to the Payments Council. However, both parties will have to register to use the service known as PayM. Customers can register in advance from Wednesday the 2nd of April. University wins $1.5 billion patent suit. A federal judge has ordered US chip maker Marvel Technology Group to pay $1.5 billion or 900 million pounds to Carnage Mellon University for infringing two hard disk patents. The university had been seeking damages of up to $3.7 billion and a jury had previously awarded it $1.1 billion. Marvel said it planned to appeal. Hull launches local digital currency. A virtual currency designed to be a local digital currency has been launched by Hull City Council in the form of digital tokens. Hull coins can be used to pay council tax and for goods and services from firms signed up to the scheme. Hull City Council said it hoped the scheme would eventually be extended to the major supermarket chain. App helps boycott of Russian goods. A smartphone app to help identify and boycott goods made in Russia is becoming popular among Android users in Ukraine. The app called Boycott the Occupiers says it can find out where a product is made, whether in Ukraine, Russia or elsewhere, by scanning the product's barcode with the phone's camera. It has already been installed between 10 to 50,000 times. LinkedIn email addresses exposed. The email addresses of LinkedIn users can easily be exposed via a web browser add-on tool. It has been revealed. Cell hack is revealed as a free extension to the Chrome browser that once installed will pop up a hack in button on LinkedIn profiles. Users can then find the email address associated with the account even if they are not connected. LinkedIn said it was taking legal action over the plugin and advised users to uninstall it. Dating app Tinders members have complained of being spammed by fake profiles that urge them to download a video game. The accounts appear to be controlled by bot automated software that uses a variety of names and photos. They respond to users, greetings and then engage in a brief conversation between recommending the app and providing a download link. US Navy tests robot firefighters. Firefighting robots designed to withstand intense heat are to be tested by the US Navy this summer. The Shipboard Autonomous Firefighting Robot, or SAFA, that's capital S-A-F-F lowercase i capital R, has been built by engineers at Virginia Tech and other US universities. The robots are expected to perform a variety of tasks, balancing turning valves, picking up and dragging a fire hose, and jetting water on the fire. They also have a vision system to search for survivors. Microsoft's Cortana to rival Siri. Microsoft has unveiled a virtual assistant for Windows Phone handsets. The voice-controlled app named Cortana uses both the firm's search engine Bing and data stored on the handsets to make per per. The voice-controlled app named Cortana uses both the firm's search engine Bing and data stored on the handset to make personalized recommendations and carry out tasks. Apple and Google already offer comparable facilities on their iOS and Android platforms. Siri and Google now have a limited ability to extract the actual meaning from the words that somebody speaks, explained Professor Steve Young, Professor of Information Engineering at the University of Cambridge. So if you ask about things that Siri, for example, knows about like restaurants or baseball games, it works pretty well. But if you ask it about something that it's not been previously programmed to understand, it simply passes the word into a search engine. I understand that for Cortana, Microsoft has done a lot of work to automatically learn a much wider range of semantics. So the expectations is that it will be able to understand a good deal more. The female voiced Cortana named after the AI system in the firm's Halo video game franchise was unveiled by Windows Phone Chief 
Joe Belfior at the Firms Build Developers Conference in San Francisco. Amazon launches TV streaming device. Amazon has launched an internet connected TV set top box as it vies with Apple and Google to gain a share of the lucrative television market. Dubbed Amazon Fire TV, the device is a small black box similar to Apple TV. It will cost $99 or £59 and is available immediately in the US. It will allow consumers to stream content from Amazon's library as well as other videos on demand services directly to their TVs. The device can also be used for gaming. Mozilla boss quits following Gay Rao. The chief executive of Mozilla, the company best known for its Firefox browser, has stepped down. Brendan Eick was appointed just last month but came in for heavy criticism for his views on same-sex marriage. Mozilla's executive chairwoman Mitchell Baker announced the decision in a blog post. Mozilla prides itself on being held to a different standard and this past week we didn't live up to it, she wrote. We know why people are hurt and angry and they are right. It's because we haven't stayed true to ourselves. Labels go after Russia's Facebook, social network the Contacti, VK, dubbed the Facebook of Russia, is facing legal action from the recording industry. Sony, Universal and Warner Music have each filled a case accusing the site of large-scale copyright infringement. The action has been coordinated by the International Federation of the Phonographic Industry, IFPI, which represents record labels worldwide. The labels have accused VK, the second biggest social network in Europe, of creating a huge library of music it does not have the right for and offering it as a surface within its site. First look at reversible USB cable. A new design for USB, a standardized connection for data transfers between electronic devices, has been shown off for the first time. The new connector will be reversible, bringing an end to the everyday irritant of trying to force a USB cable in the wrong hole. The images were first published by the technology news site The Verge. The USB Implementers Forum anticipates the new design will be finalised in July, but rollout of new ports will take some time as manufacturers gradually incorporate them into their products. Turkish officials lift Twitter ban. The Turkish authorities have lifted a ban on Twitter following Wednesday's constitutional court ruling, officials and media reports say. The court had told the country's telecommunication authorities the two-week-old ban must be lifted as it was a breach of freedom of expression. It may take a couple of hours for full access to Twitter to be restored. Prime Minister Recep Tayyip Erdogan had vowed to wipe out Twitter after users spread allegations of corruption. Users across the country found many ways of circumventing the prohibition, which was widely criticised and ridiculed. Access to the Twitter was blocked in Turkey in the run-up to local elections, which Mr Erdogan's ruling Islamist rooted AK party won resoundingly. Japanese Mafia launch website. Japan's most notorious organised crime syndicate have launched a website to improve their merge and gain more members. The Yamaguchi Gumi homepage welcomes visitors with a sign reading Banish Drugs and Purify the Nation League. It also features a video depicting gang members on a pilgrimage to a shrine and a corporate song. There are other pictures of the group helping out after the Fukushima earthquake. The Yamaguchi Gumi is Japan's largest Yakuza group, similar to the Italian mob and Chinese triads. It is allegedly involved in a range of activities including prostitution, extortion and white collar crime. The Yakuza are not illegal and the Yamaguchi Gumi have their own headquarters with senior members handing out business cards. They have historically been tolerated by the authorities, sometimes with corporate police overlooking their crimes and are routinely glamorised in fan scenes. Amazon's Dirty Cloud Criticised A Greenpeace report in the green credentials of tech firms has singled out Amazon as having the dirtiest cloud services. Apple, Facebook and Google were praised for significant improvements in energy transparency and attempts to move to 100% renewable energy. But Amazon's web services, AWS, which powers many net firms, only uses 15% clean energy according to the report. The retail giant hit back, branding the report inaccurate. MEPs vote for net neutrality law. 
the European Parliament has voted to restrict internet service providers, ISPS, ability to charge data-hungry services for faster network access. Operators have said the move would hinder their efforts to manage traffic. A net neutrality proposal would put the EU at odds with the US, where video streaming service Netflix is paying for the country's biggest cable firm for preferential treatment on its network. The law still needs to be approved by Europe's Council of Ministers. It would also prohibit mobile networks and broadband providers from blocking services, such as WhatsApp, messages or Google Drive storage that compete with their own offerings. At present, Slovenia and the Netherlands are the only members of the 28 nation bloc to enshrine the principle in law. MEPs to vote scrap roaming fees. The European Parliament has voted to scrap the roaming fees charged for using a mobile phone while abroad. Under the wide-ranging telecoms reforms, the cost of making a call or downloading internet data in another EU country will be the same as at home. The change is due to take effect from 15th December next year. It still requires approval from EU governments. Some consumers have faced bills for thousands of pounds after falling foul of current high roaming charges. In recent years, the EU has legislated to lower the costs, so telecoms operators have been forced to cap their fees. A European Commission survey in February suggested that 94% of Europeans limited their use of the web when travelling in Europe because of the cost of mobile roaming. The package was adopted by 534 votes to 25. Last year the cap for internet browsing was lowered to 45 cents or 39 pence per megabyte from 70 euro cents, 60 cents per megabyte in 2012. Global push to fix power plant code. The discovery of bugs in software to run oil rigs, refineries and power plants has prompted a global push to patch the widely used control system. The bugs were found by security researchers and if exploited could give attackers remote access to control systems for the installations. The US Department of Homeland Security said an attacker with low skill would be able to exploit the bugs. About 7,600 plants around the world are using the vulnerable software. Child finds Xbox security flaw. A five-year-old boy who worked out a security vulnerability on Microsoft Xbox Live servers has been officially thanked by the company. Christopher Von Hassel from San Diego figured out how to log into his dad's account without the right password. Microsoft has fixed the flaw and added Christopher to its list of recognized security researchers. BBC iPlayer shows online for 30 days. The BBC iPlayer's catch-up programs will soon be available to watch for 30 days instead of 7 after plans were approved by the BBC Trust. The changes will be brought in this summer following a formal assessment and advice from broadcasting watchdog Ofcom. The Trust looked at the possible impact on audiences and the market. The iPlayer receives around 10.7 million requests to stream or download TV and radio programs each day. Research published today as part of the Trust's assessment found that 91% of 1,000 iPlayer users questioned would be very or quite interested in the window being extended. The idea was first suggested by Director General Tony Hall in October 2013 as part of plans to make the surface the front door or gateway to the BBC. Israel steps up cyber defences. Fears of cyber attack by Palestinian activists have led Israel to block international data from reaching government sites. By blocking or limiting activities ability to knock out official sites. In addition, government workers are being instructed to be wary of email messages. The measures involve filtering traffic so only data originating within Israel reaches the sites. Systems that accept payment for government services made by people outside the country are also being put on hold. Israeli web news site Walla said the precautions were being taken to deal with a huge attack being prepared by hacktivists acting for pro-Palestinian groups. Reuters reported that Israeli government security teams were also carrying out work on official websites to make them more resistant to attack. High-tech fire alarm in safety halt. 
Google-owned Nest has halted sales of its Nest Protect Fire Alarm after the firm found out that users could accidentally disable the device by waving their arms. The company said the feature Nest Wave, which allows users to wave their arms to deactivate the alarm, could be activated unintentionally. In a blog post, the company said current users should disable Wave. Google brought Nest Labs for $3.2 billion 1.9 billion pounds in January. The firm, which is primarily known for its high-tech thermostat, launched in the UK this week after strong sales in the US. The trust looked at the pop whether in UK. Child finds export. St